Hey everyone, it's Brandon from Virtual DJ here with the tip of the day. Now, a hidden feature in the Virtual DJ sampler is that it has flexible audio routing, which not only allows for configuring to send audio directly to your master output, but to your decks instead. This means that you can use the deck volume slider and apply the EQ and effects of the deck to the sampler audio to further enhance and manipulate your samples. Here's how to do it. In the side view area, click on the sampler button to show the sampler. Then click on the radio button to show the sampler options menu. Now highlight audio output and select the deck that you wish to assign the sampler Sampler Audio 2. Here we'll select Deck 1. Now go back to the Sampler Options menu and select Apply Deck Effects. Go ahead and trigger a sample. You can now control the volume of the sample with the Deck 1 volume slider in the Mixer section. You can also adjust the high, mid, and low frequencies using the EQ knobs, as well as adjust the high and low pass frequencies with the filter knob. You can also apply deck effects to the sampler that you normally engage in the deck effects slots like the flanger and echo. Click on the down arrow in the decks effects section to expand and see the effects slots. Now trigger your sample and engage the effects by clicking on them. You can also adjust the effects by using the main parameter knobs. You can change and select a new effect by clicking on the down arrow in the effects slot and choose a new effect from the list. Now if you wish to have additional controls or change additional parameters of the effect, hover over and highlight the effect. Then click on the cog button to show the effects editor window in the side view area. Now that you know the basics, you might consider changing to a 4 deck skin and assign the sample audio to either decks 3 or 4 in order to keep the main decks 1 and 2 free for mixing. To do this, click on the layout button at the top of the screen and change to a 4 deck skin. Now go back to the sample options menu and assign the sampler audio to deck 3 or 4. You can now mix your main tracks in decks 1 and 2 and use deck 3 for sample playback. As you can see, routing your sampler audio to a deck is easy and allows for using effects that are not normally available in the default mode. That'll do it for this tip of the day. We hope you found it helpful. Till the next one, remember, if you stumble on the microphone, just keep going. If you don't call attention to it, your audience will never know it happened.